Hey guys, Ben here and welcome back to another video. Today we're going to be doing a new video and this video is going to be special. It's the end of the year, it's a few hours away from 2019 so I thought if I can get this video up on time this would be a nice little video to go over my top 10 Arrowverse superheroes or heroes even if they don't have powers and maybe we'll bend the rules a little bit to include a few characters but essentially this is going to be my ranking so this is going to be exciting so if you guys once you've watched this whole video and you see my list let me know your top 10 list of all the Arrowverse heroes who are your favourites let me know in the comments down below but if you do go on to enjoy this video please be sure to leave a like and a comment and subscribe if you're new so you don't miss any DC TV videos later this year or next year because we're heading into 2019 and if you have any ideas, any videos you want me to make, please be sure to let me know in the comments down below. And so, without further ado, let's get right into this and we're going to start off with some honourable mentions. So these people have just missed the list for various reasons, I'll explain them. So, honourable mention number one goes to Black Canary, Laurel Lance. I love Laurel. I thought she was like one of the best things about Arrow until she died, obviously. And the reason why she's not on my list is because... She was Black Canary for such a short amount of time, I think it was literally one season and she barely had any training or anything so she didn't really have the time to shine as a superhero per se. So that's why she's my honourable mention. Also Spartan, that being Diggle, I really love Diggle but again I don't think he has enough time being a particular superhero. He does a lot of fights and stuff, but he's sort of just overshadowed by the fact that he can do what Oliver can do, he can fight, but yes, he is different, but that's why he's my honourable mention. Also, Superman, so I love Tyler Hecklin as Superman, I think he's just one of the greatest things that we've got on the CW. He doesn't come into my top 10 list, he's not appeared that much in the time he's been here, I've loved him, and so really looking forward to seeing more, hopefully sometime in the next few years. It's great seeing him in the crossover, so that's why he's my honourable mention because he doesn't really appear that much. And so the Atom is another honourable mention because I love Ray, I think he's so good, but I think he's underutilised as the Atom and that's why he's an honourable mention. And John Constantine, I just love John, I adore the Constantine show, it only lasted for one season, I really hope it comes back. I'm a little behind on Legends of Tomorrow, I'm going to try and catch up in the next few weeks or so and so I'm like two episodes behind so right now keeping John in the honourable mentions because he's just the best in my opinion. And so now let's move on to talk about my top 10. So number 10 is Firestorm. So Firestorm hasn't been in the show properly since last crossover and that was due to Stein actually dying which was I have to say one of the saddest moments. I literally just couldn't help but cry. It was so great the way they ended it, but it was a shame as well because Firestorm is one of my favourite characters and so Jefferson stuck around for a while and so just over the time that we've got to know Jefferson and Martin Stein together since Ronnie stopped being Firestorm because he died, I've just come to love him. I think he's such a great hero and the fact that Firestorm is looks really great and he's like mainly CGI, I think that's awesome. He was kind of underutilised but I just think he's a great hero and I think the actors do such a great job and so that's why he's my number 10. Number 9 is Martian Manhunter aka Jean Jones. So similar thing, I love Jean, Jean's one of my favourite characters but in terms of superheroes I had to drop him down a bit because he doesn't really get used that much and again I love Martian Manhunter but I prefer Jean Jones because Martian Manhunter doesn't get much time and we don't really get to know him that well. Um, but Jean is just one of my favourite characters, David Harewood is just excellent in this role and I think he brings such a presence to whatever scene that he's in, he's, you know, the space dad of Kara and Alex and everyone and he's just such a nice person and he's a great superhero when he gets the time to shine and so moving on, my number 8 pick, this is Vibe Cisco Ramon. So I love Cisco, and again I had to drop it down a bit because he doesn't get too much time but more recently he's been getting some more time but now he can't use his powers properly because of Cicada. So Cisco, I adore him, I think Carlos Valdez does such a great job, everyone loves him, he is a fan favourite, he's probably most people's number one side character in any of the shows. 
he's you know number two for me and I'll explain that in a minute but yes I love him and when he gets the time to shine his vibe I love when he breaches he can transport everyone anywhere and it's just such a useful power and I love him as a superhero but again doesn't really get that t that much time as vibe but I think he's better as Cisco Ramon personally so that's why he's number eight number seven for me is White Canary Sarah Lance so as we head into my top list lots of you are probably wondering why Sarah is number seven not like number five I love Sarah but I personally love the flash and Supergirl the most the TV shows so I have a lot of characters that I'm really connected to and I'm really connected to Sarah Sarah is my favorite Legends character and so she's just a little bit below some of the Flash and Arrow and Supergirl characters. I do love her, it's just she really doesn't get much time as a superhero. It's mainly just Sarah Lance nowadays. Like, when was the last time we remember calling her the White Canary? I don't really remember. And she doesn't really wear her suit anymore due to what they're doing on Legends. I really love Legends. This season, I don't know, it's a bit, it's a bit more boring, a bit more bland than normal. I think they're trying to go a bit too quirky. But... I've been loving Legends since the very start. I love season 1, season 2, and season 3. I just think season 4 has maybe dropped off a little bit, but not too much. Nothing compared to Arrow in season 4. So I love Sarah. I think she's such a great addition to Legends, and she was one of my favourites when she first appeared in Arrow. So I've always loved her, will continue to. And so number 6 for me, and... This is one that I'm sort of bargaining to try and get up more, and if it was just Arrowverse characters, she would be right up there, and this is Killer Frost and Caitlyn Snow. Same thing, I can't really push her up more, because Killer Frost isn't in the show that much or too much anymore, uh, but she's returned now, but Caitlyn's one of my favourite characters in all of the Arrowverse, and she would probably rank above Cisco for me, that's what I was talking about. And so I think when Danielle gets the chance to be Killer Frost, she's so awesome and I love her powers and, and the way they look and she's just such an intriguing character and I think the way that they've portrayed Killer Frost in these different versions is just the best thing and so that's why she's one of my favourite heroes. And so number five, and this is sort of bending the rules a little bit, she doesn't have a superhero name but this is Alex Danvers. For my money, she is a superhero and so... Alex Danvers, played by Kyla Lee, she's my favourite on Supergirl, barring Supergirl obviously. And Alex is just such a great sister, but also she's such a great fighter, such a great hero. And she got a superhero suit recently, so, you know, that can play into my idea of her being a superhero. But she doesn't have a name, I want her to get a name very soon. But, you know, she's just consistently great, and I really, really do love Alex. So that's why she's my number five. My number four, this is just of the moment, but I'm going to go Green Arrow. And so I will put Green Arrow here, but it normally fluctuates between four and three for me. And he's obviously the original. I love Arrow so much. I love season one, season two. Season three is all right. I really don't like season four. Season five is my favorite season of Arrow. Season six was all right. Season seven has been really good so far. So it's a bit fluctuating for me, and so maybe that's why it's a bit lower for me, because I've loved so many of these seasons, but also I haven't liked some of the seasons as well. And so Oliver is just such a great fighter, Steven's absolutely brilliant, I've met him a few times, and he's so nice, and he's such a great dedicated person when he's coming to these shows, and I think Green Arrow is just like one of the coolest superheroes that we've seen ever on TV or in films, and... I just love him so much and that's why he's my number four. My number three may surprise some, may not surprise some others, but this is Monel Valor, but they don't really call him Valor on the TV show, never name dropped that. But I have to say I love the superhero suit. I really like the black superhero suit as well. That's just a bonus, but Monel is one of my favorite characters. I think Chris Wood is so good and I really love the relationship with Supergirl and him and everyone else in Team Supergirl and how they all work together in the past few seasons and the Legion of Superheroes and everything. And so I think Monel is one of my favorite characters, but when he's a superhero, I think he was absolutely brilliant last season. And I just thoroughly enjoy watching every single moment with him, with Chris Wood playing this character. So number two, this was a hard one. Number one or number two, but I'm going number two 
is Supergirl, and so most of you guys probably expecting Supergirl to be number one, because I love Supergirl, I love the show so much, and I was lucky enough to see Melissa in real life on Broadway, so that was like a major fanboy moment when I saw that, and so I'm a massive Melissa fan, I think she's just brilliant in everything she does, if you guys have seen Whiplash or anything, she's just brilliant, and I think her role as Supergirl, as Cara Danvers, number one, I love Cara Danvers, but Supergirl, when she gets to shine as Supergirl is just awesome, and I just can't get enough of her as playing this Supergirl role, and she does, and she's so nice and so kind as Supergirl, and Supergirl really has this sort of element of freedom, but also this element of innocence to her, and the powerful nature of her powers, you know, I love that contrast, and that's why She's my number two, one of my favorite TV shows of all time. And so, my number one, most of you have probably guessed it by now, this is The Flash, Barry Allen, as played by Grant Gustin. Grant Gustin is my favorite, and I have to say that this is the reason why I love the Arrowverse. It's roots from Grant Gustin playing Barry Allen, playing The Flash, and I've just loved every single moment of it. Yes, I didn't really like season four all too much. I still enjoyed it, I thought it was good. But season 1, season 2, season 3, and season 5 so far, I just can't get enough. I think Grant is absolutely brilliant, but also Barry Allen, obviously I love him. I've just got such a big investment with all these characters, especially Barry, Kara, mon Oliver Queen, Alex, Caitlin, Sarah, Cisco, Jean, all these characters. I have such a big investment in them, but in the superhero persona, I just think The Flash is so cool, I think it's like the perfect superhero, and I think Grant plays him so well, and the way that he comes across in the Arrowverse is just my perfect example of what a perfect superhero is like in my mind, and yeah, so that is my list, so from 10 to 1, it's Firestorm at number 10, Martian Manhunter, Vibe, White Canary, Killer Frost, Alex Danvers, Green Arrow, mon Supergirl, and The Flash. So let me know your list in the comments down below, and we can see how mine differs, how yours changes, and see how everyone else's does. So thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you had a great 2018, and I look forward to 2019. So I'll see you guys later. Goodbye. It doesn't make us strong. It doesn't make us weak. Tongue tied to service like shy.